We're starting here at Bandon Bicycle Works and rolling over to Bullards Beach State Park. You know, it's not always about climbing big hills and roughing in the woods. Sometimes it's about bike packing out your backyard. Uh, we're rolling heavy, a lot of wood, a lot of food, a lot of fun. I am <laughs> this excited to go camping today. <laughs> Let's do it. Step one. the devil. Oh, 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 oh. You gotta downshift that thing. Oh, wow, I got a curb, huh? Wind that shit up. You gotta go off the curb really slowly and make a left. Where are we at? Uh, we're in Fox Eddie. <laughs> I just lost my trailer. I gotta hook it back up again. <laughs> Problem fixed. It's Bigfoot. We I found him in Bandon. <laughs> in Bandon. They said he's in sixes, but we found him in Bandon. <laughs> the farm in the sea. That's right, yeah, exactly. All right, you guys have a good day. When you focus on the gun, things all things under the sun. We had lunch in downtown Bandon. We had some fish and chips on the boardwalk, and uh, we're gonna mosey on over to Bullard's Beach, find a campsite, and chill for the night. Hey Al, how's the 50 pounds of firewood treating you? Firewood's going where it wants to go. I'm along for the ride. The choice is yours and the choice is mine. You can't please everybody all of the time. You can open great things, will be just fine. But my knife knows at the end of the line. Happiness is only a state of mind. Open your eyes and in time you will find. Open up your heart, let your love light shine. Well, we just biked from downtown Bandon out to Bullard's Beach, went past the campground a little bit and came out to Coquille Lighthouse out on the Coquille River where it runs into the Pacific Ocean. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit and then head back to the hiker biker campground, post up for the night. Just a short ride, just chilling, camping, having fun on the bikes. That's what it's all about. A little up and give a little late the way that it goes. What goes around, say come on, so everyone knows. What you keep is what you get, so take a look, cause it's show. Waking up your brother, bring the time you feel the low. Waking up a challenge, boom, let's rip a buckle. Moving up the best and not the left and I do. When I'm smoking, I must let the burn and pass out like it's slow. Moving up in a style of the fashion, I'm supposed to. Moving up the door, when it's time another door is closed. Moving to the light and from the 
dark now we expose When I'm reaching to the sky, just spread it out and let it go Never do a thing because somebody say you know Al's cutting up some bell peppers and jalapenos and we're gonna be making fajitas tonight. Got some onions already grilling up. Right. Steamy. That's jackfruit right there. You're eating jackfruit, peppers and onions. I'm gonna put some steaks on. And there's three of us eating for a family of like 12. We rode our bikes all day though, right? <laughs> we, did. we did. This is what we do it for. Well, this is our first time trying the mobile podcast mobile podcasting setup. It's a nice hiker biker campsite out here at the campground and nobody else is out at the biker campground. So we have it all to ourselves. It's because it's December and cold. Yep. Bullard's Beach State Park. It's great for cycle tourism. You know, all state parks. Mm -hmm. When you're biking the Oregon coast, every state park is set up for bike tourism. They all have hiker biker sites. <laughs> They'll have stainless lockable lockers. Bring your own lock. A lot of people don't say that. When you go on the cycle touring down the coast, bring a small lock. This, they have uh, USB ports, running water, campfire rings, picnic tables, bike lock post. So you can lock your bike up if you need to. Yeah, this is a part of the Pacific Coast bike route, the Oregon Coast bike route. Lots of bike tourists come through here. Um, and if you're ever even wanting to do a section. It's a really nice section coming through the Southern Oregon coast. I think we set out to break every rule about bike camping. We loaded heavy, we didn't wear the proper gear, we didn't ride very long. We just found a campsite that was close to our home, rode out there, stopped at everything we could think of to stop at, and then cooked a big meal. This is my first time staying here. We went out to the uh, Coquille River Lighthouse. And, uh, what the heck Ooh, is that? Saw him. I just saw him. What was that? Yep. Was that a rabbit? Yeah. It seems like we have a critter in camp. We thought we might get a raccoon or something, and it looks like something's already showing up. So, oh, there's oh, the there's raccoon. raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we caught him. He's a big guy. <laughs> Dude, we're going to have to watch you tonight. He's a gutsy little son of a bitch. Well, it sounds like we all slept pretty good last night. We're packing up camp right now. How was the hammock set up last night? Hammock was good. Uh, warm. Uh, we didn't have any wind come through. Uh, it was a little slack, so I was kind of bend up a little bit, but that was my fault. But um, it wasn't so bad I had to get up and change anything, so... We had a raccoon that kept coming to our camp last night. Kept coming up to our table, trying to grab food. Even though we were right there, we had our fire. Uh, so we made sure we packed everything away. Um, and I mean, we might've heard a few things last night. He was probably looking around camp, but you didn't have any issues with the raccoon trying to cuddle you? I had no cuddling issues. Only thing I left out was my coffee and my filter. He doesn't like coffee. He drug it away and just left it. So, he's not yep. hooked on the So, sun. yeah, if you're ever out at the Bullard's Beach campground, just watch out for this raccoon. I'm calling him the Bullard's Bandit. Um, he's a little troublemaker and he was not scared of us at all. I'm making Instagram stories. If you want to see the exclusive short story content, you got to follow Bandon Bicycle Works on Instagram. From that's the sickest cycling update. Yeah, that's how social media works now. So, sorry. I have to work and ride We're, we're not going to tell you anything else. Go follow everything and... Um, or don't. Yeah, or don't. I mean, you don't. Yeah, go, actually go ride your bike. We'd rather you do that anyway. Um, yeah, so we're packing up camp, but we're taking the easy route back into town. We went the long way yesterday and then we'll be crossing back and abandoned over the Coquille River Bridge.
purpose of this trip was kind of to show two things. One, no matter where you go bikepacking, we're always searching for the highest mountain peaks, the coolest campsites, getting lost in the woods. Well, sometimes we don't want to do that every time. We just want to go have fun and just ride over somewhere easy. Another great thing is for beginners, you can load up whatever you want. I did not pack light. I packed a full size little tent. I packed my comfy sleeping pad, big sleeping bag, chair, all the extra stuff and just rode over to my local state park, camped out for the night. They had bathrooms, showers, picnic benches, real easy for the beginner or the seasoned bike packer just to go have fun. Until the next one on Michael with Bandit Bicycle Works. Not a lot of miles, a whole lot of fun. Come join us. So Al was bike camping with us this weekend with this whole trailer. He carried a bunch of firewood. Now it's pretty light after we used a lot of that at camp, but he's going to show us uh, how I actually set all this up here. So uh, the Surly Karate Monkey has a through axle that slides straight out the back. So there's really not a good solution uh, for an axle for the Bob trailer. So what I took is uh, the fabricated mounts, a plate that will, I can go into the through axle uh, support and hit as many pieces as I could and put the Bob trailer connection point out here. So I extended it back about four inches on both sides, you know, so I have the support tied into as many frame points as possible, but the uh, trailer itself sits back and still rides at the same level as it would if it was on the rear axle. It's not ideal. It's not probably the best setup, uh, but it actually holds quite a bit of weight and does a good job about pulling the trailer. How much do you think that uh, weighed yesterday when it was fully loaded? Uh, probably pushing 100 pounds. Uh, we had uh, a full bed of firewood um, to uh, bring up the trailer height to match the mountain bike. It was a, went from a 12 inch to a 16. Uh, and I took a an old uh, bike rack, cut it down to make my fender slash uh, additional storage, puts it weight right over top of the tire. Got a BMX tire on the back there. The only issue you really had was uh, trying to turn this thing around when we were in some <laughs> tight spots. It, uh, it wanted, it outweighed the bike, almost outweighed the bike uh, by quite a bit. So if it wanted to lean over too far, it would actually lay over. So I had to stand it back up. And then if you go into a place where you have to turn the bike around, it takes so much room to turn around that uh, you had to back up or I needed help backing up. Going down hills, the, the trailer took over the bike and it kind of steered, you know, you had to kind of be really gentle on the, those turns or the, the trailer wouldn't follow very well. Other than that, it, it followed really well. Uh, and the weight is the only thing that was hampering the riding. Added a kickstand just because the trailer when it's loaded tries to tip the bike over uh, and it's just convenient to step away from the darn setup and let it hold itself up and that's what you do if you want to bring a bunch of stuff to camp we were just going across town and so al thought he would bring whatever he possibly could well it seems like the wildlife is not as wild as you would think i mean he just wants to join the party <laughs> Raccoon tell. just tried to kill me. <laughs> Soul 157. <laughs> kind of the perfect starter ride, but we did it with uh, purposely breaking the rules of light bike pamping. That's me. Did you get that on camera? <laughs> <laughs> 